All right, what month are we doing this? Uh, it's my birthday month. It's, it's April. It's April. Okay. Man, this Still, has been, this has been the decade of April. This is what day is it? April thirty eighth. It's it's, <laughs> it's April. I need to shower day. I just <laughs> <laughs> April nineteenth. <19th. laughs> oh my gosh! Welcome to the Codex Cantina, where I am Una, and I am still birthday boy because April will never no, end. No, are you one of those people that celebrates your birthday all month long? Is, is that what you're I don't celebrate? No, I don't celebrate my birthday at all. I couldn't. I was locked in and died. <laughs> no, we, we had a very we had a very nice YouTube celebration. Like I think you've followed it very closely. You've searched for who's been doing your video. And I wanna I thank have. everybody out there that joined and considered doing the YouTube videos for the We Ain't Getting Younger birthday book tab for crypto. I think that's that's made a big difference for you. No, it has. It was amazing. Uh, it was one of the sweetest, most thoughtful things from you. So thank you. But also thank you to the community. Um, we had over 400 views on it already. Uh, I've watched several uh, people's videos that have done it already. Um, uh, we've got Sean and, and Steve and Deanie and all of the, these other people out there, um, Pints and, and Noah and everybody. They, they've been doing videos and saying happy birthday. And I've tried to comment on all of them. And if I've missed it, I apologize. But so thank you for everything everybody for the birthday wishes uh it was really special it meant a lot to me uh for my 40th birthday it's been a rough month both <laughs> both in terms of the world but also in terms of our reading uh we didn't pull any punches with this absalom absalom business right <laughs> we did not <laughs> we filmed the whole series we we made through to go back and do a before you start series because we feel like that's really important for particularly william faulkner and maybe maybe major literature canon stuff but we did 16 videos this month which is basically yep. every other day, which took a lot of pre-planning on, on, <laughs> on my part to make sure that we had the content to push out as we were focusing on Absalom Absalom. You crushed it, man. You crushed it. You kept us on schedule. I, it's impressive. You said, this is what we're going to do, and you're going to be drug kicking, kicking and screaming, and you did it. <laughs> All right, so together we are going to be talking about the two novels, one that we started, one that we finished this month. Okay. Um, I've got two novels that I did myself, a German uh, novel, Kampowski, uh, as well as a Japanese novella, the Monogatari series, uh, which I'm hoping I can get that German novel filmed in out this month, but pff, rough month, I tell you. Uh, we did two short stories. We did four tags in a behind the scenes video. <laughs> and, and, and. <laughs> so, so I want to continue the the tags video. Those were really fun. Some people have even commented on that when we were completely stressed out and maybe arguably a little bit drunk, that those were more entertaining. I don't know why. Because <laughs> yeah. editor Ooh. Uno, when I'm looking at what we said, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know if I would agree with that or say that exactly that way as sober. Again, Uno, but <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm still figuring out what that story is, but we've got the drunk <laughs> tag videos that we really let loose on, and then we've got our deeper analysis that we tend to hopefully be a little bit more care, more uh, coherent on. But I know in one of those Absalom videos, I kind of had to, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't read anymore. <laughs> I, I lost the it's ability like, to read. I can't see the words. We're gonna have to pause. Oh. I'm like, no, just cut it out. <laughs> I need to. I need to release a behind the scenes video where I was literally asking crypto because I couldn't read the words I had written down. All right, let's get down to our uh, April wrap up, and then we're going to get into our May TBR in a couple of days, um, where maybe maybe we'll have a response to. It seems like someone might have challenged us recently. I don't. I don't know who it is, but. Maybe we'll have maybe we'll have, maybe we'll have a response. We'll see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So in terms of our April wrap up, very short in terms of our short story listing. And if you're new to this system, what we typically do is we've got a unique rating system here where in our wrap ups we're we're recommending it to you guys. Okay. What do we recommend versus not recommend? What do we need to to really check out and spend some time on versus you know not spend some time on? So our highest rating is going to be the collect it. And that's the idea you should spend some money, get some first editions, unique editions, you know, the holographic images that, 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 that included. The second highest rating is going to be the buy it, which is, you know, the hardback, paperback, Kindle, whatever your, your guilty pleasure is. Middle of the line is the backlog it. So that's the idea that when libraries are open, you don't spend a ton of money on it. Or maybe it's like at a used book sale where you get it for a couple bucks. This is something that, you know, 
you want to probably get to at some point in time, but you don't necessarily need to spend some money or effort to go out of your way to get. The second to lowest rating is the Skip It. Make sure this is for you before you check it out because there may be some issues that we've kind of determined. And then there's the Trash It, where this wasn't for us, okay? And we're probably not going to do that anymore unless we're hypocritical like I always am. Ever. And there's probably some issues, so make sure you really do some research that you want to check that book out before investing in it. Our first short story, To Be Our Ought To Be by Kurt Von Aget. Crypto, I'm going to say, you said buy it. Ooh, you are correct. <laughs> ah. Well, then my yeah, friend... Yeah, this definitely... Go ahead. Yeah, this is definitely one that you should uh, you should buy, you should have, and uh, it's a really good read. I think its message is crucial. Uh, check out the video. It is so unlike Kurt Vonnegut in humor. It is so like Kurt Vonnegut in the twist that once it's all gone, you realize the value statement that humanity has. And I am right there with you on a buy it. There, there's a, a collected short stories, like which is like a thousand pages long of all the short stories. You got to get that. I know that Kurt Vonnegut might not be for everyone. I realize you may not like his novels, but I'm telling you, his short stories are so poignant. Ooh. They, they yeah, grab he- the sci-fi element. They grab this humanitarian element. I, I say I love literary fiction. I don't think literary fiction is really a true category. It's, it's the idea that I think everything moves forward, and I think Kurt Vonnegut satisfies that in typically a sci-fi setting, almost. Yeah, I feel like people that argue about his his novels haven't read his short stories, because maybe you could make a good argument about his novels being bloated and not coherent and blah, 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 and we've done our own you know analysis of his works before, but man, he nails it when it comes to short stories. He, he is <laughs> yeah. one of the masters, yeah, so really yeah, you, you can't go does. wrong with this one. And stay tuned. We are going to be exploring some more of Kurt Vonnegut, particularly next year. This year's is the year of Faulkner. And I might have a little surprise announcement for you guys coming up here in the May TBR. So stay tuned for that. But uh, up next, in terms of the other short story for this month, we had Where Love Is, God Is, as a part of our Tolstoy triggered along with Noah from Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse. Uh, You said backlog it. You had to say backlog it, right? Yeah, I said backlog it. Okay, okay. No, I'm right there with you. Backlog it on that one. Yeah, if we, I, I, I really appreciate Tolstoy, so I don't want the the community to think that I don't. I just think that there are better stories that you can read out there that you can get more from. And if we weren't doing this with Noah, then I wouldn't have read it probably anytime soon or honestly ever. Dude, so I'm glad I was, did. Dude, that was my selection. That wasn't Noah's selection. That was me that selected that one. Oh, okay. Well, Noah, I apologize. You are my friend, and I hate Una. <laughs> Una the, down, Noah good. Oh, Noah, don't get triggered. Don't <laughs> I get apologize, Noah. <laughs> Noah triggered. <laughs> <laughs> so next next month, though, we're doing two deer. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But this story okay. is something I agree. From for me personally, it didn't hit that special note that maybe some other ones did. So we, we started. Absalom, Absalom this month. And next month's going to be super <laughs> packed. We finished <laughs> it where what we did is we, we filmed it where you are the virgin going through it for the first Hello. time. And this is my third rounder kind of yeah, showing you the ropes. Me. Yeah, this is. Tell yeah, me. This, this Tell me. You need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we came back and kind of did the before you read series, which is a little confusing, but it's what we did. So Absalom, Absalom, let's go ahead and read it this month since next month's going to be super packed. Um, in terms of our rating system, crypto, what are you going to give it? Collect it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I am a clear collect it as well. Duh. Um, which, might no be, which might be super confusing because people are like, I thought you said Go Down Moses was your favorite, but you gave Go Down Moses a backlog it. Th- that's a different discussion. And I hopefully we expounded upon it appropriately where there's a difference between my personal opinion, which happens in video and maybe my recommendations to others were Absalom, Absalom, if you're going to just do one William Faulkner piece, is the story to choose. If you're like a series guy and you're like, I'm willing to do a couple pieces from this guy to, to kind of get a swath, then that's when I say you start with with uh, Go Down Moses. Now, 
A video in work that will happen once crypto's had a little bit more experience is the Yakna Patafa reading order or where to start with William Faulkner video. That'll come in the future. But I think you said it best in our wrap-up video about the, the rocket ship. Do you want to kind of like re reiterate that here since that video won't have been published yet when this video comes out? Sure. Remind me what that was. <laughs> I forgot. You said if we were... Should I just do it? Is that what I'm doing? No, no, no. <laughs> you better cut all this. No. <laughs> so I don't look I'm like an it, asshole. I'm keeping it in because I'm, do, I'm doing the split screen now. So now people are going to see the real you. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> you said in our wrap up that if you were going to send a rocket ship into space. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. This, this book would be on there. I remember now. Because... Because it it encapsulates us as a people, and it shows <laughs> what. Keep going, keep going. No, I'm done. I'm powering now. I'm shutting down. Power off. Shutting down. We're power, power off. off. <laughs> <laughs> you said that this would be a good book to send in a rocket ship into outer space to let other people know about the dangers of racism exclusion the mistakes that we made as a country so that they can learn from it and not do those mistakes of judging by outward appearances as opposed to judging by character that sounds like something i would say that sounds pretty smart uh, yeah that clearly is that that's what you just said right now I'll, I'll, don't worry i'll edit it in for you like i always do right buddy Mm-hmm. <laughs> thanks <laughs> Now, we finished and wrapped up our Wizard and Glass series, which we rated last month. Um, I think we had we had some different feelings this round. I think, I think we're starting to, maybe in our older age, have a different view of Stephen King as opposed to what a younger version of ourselves were to view Stephen King. I think we kind of came down a little bit harsher on the characterization, particularly from a woman misogynistic perspective. Would, would you say that's fair? That's fair. I was drinking, sorry. All right, now let's go into some of the Una solo pieces. So I did, in the strangest, oh, in the strangest turn of events of all time, I did go into the Bake Monogatari series again with the Suroga Monkey Act. Uh, I say act because we've been studying so much Greek mythology, and there's so much Greek mythology love letter elements to that. This is not a piece that is for most people, and I'm not even sure if it's for me. I don't know why I continued it. I think because maybe there's not as much literary criticism training brought into to that series that it, it's nice to see a, a series that has maybe a bit of literary criticism or a little bit of literary uh, fiction aspect to it brought out all right i said that horribly doesn't matter these videos Skip are it. always done these these videos are always done at the end of the night where i drink it no that um i'm not going to rate it because because just like that first one that we did there's a second story oh, i learned okay. we learned our lesson Right, because that first story was amazing. The second story was a hot trash it for us. This oh, so second, it's incomplete. That's it's fair. In, it's incomplete. <clears throat> now, this first story brought in Greek mysticism, brought in fatalism, brought in a lot of the love letter aspects to great myths and stories of the time. That this was up there with that first story that you and I read. Cool. Get this though. Everyone that is like like has read the series and they're like, hey, just so you know, you're gonna hate the fourth one. You're gonna hate this next story. <laughs> <laughs> like I hated the second oh. story. Like, like it's uh -oh. not really, it's not really building me up into this because for us we had issues with it, and it sounds like this next piece is going to be an issue piece for us. So we'll see. We, not us, you. Yeah, because you're you're yeah. hot. You're hot ejecting. Hot ejecting. <laughs> out of right. here. Get the a one way piece. ticket to somewhereville. Now, the last piece is Marrow and Bone, which you probably would have enjoy, uh, enjoyed because you haven't seen the video. I haven't filmed it yet. I, I need to get on that to make sure that it gets out this month. If not, hey, spank me at the bottom. But uh, oh, you, have, you have 47 more days of April. Don't worry. You got plenty of time. Oh, my gosh. This is the longest month of all time. But uh, this one was one of those pieces where it's interesting because the description is, is horrendous as to what the book's actually about. But it's this guy that's exploring the past. And the way that he's exploring the past is he's going to where he was born 
from his mother that died fleeing the Germans during World War II. And you see him brought up in this German world and you see this, this cultures clash where Germany doesn't mean Germans are all the same, right? On the north side, you have more of a Flemish influence. On the eastern side, you have more of like a, a Eastern European influence. And it kind of explores the different influences and and how we as a people are influenced by the past. And him, by via exploring the past, explains a little bit about himself more to himself. Um, it's a very vignette. I'm looking forward to that video. That sounds well, good. It's a very vignette-driven story, right? Like, here's the scene. Here's the thing I want to pull out in the scene. Fast forward. Here's this scene. Here's one I want to pull out this scene. And you start to see him kind of go into the Polish territories, where it was a territory that was constantly either being oppressed, liberated, and then oppressed, and then liberated again, and starting to see his story and view upon that, where even in culturally, right, like their food, he sees the German, you know, bratwursts in terms of their their food options on the plate. Do you you just want to go ahead and do it right now? Just continue on? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what, what do you think i rate it uh sounds like a backlog it really well you said it wasn't for everybody yeah yeah actually it is backlog it i thought i was just doing a good job of talking it up i thought you were gonna say buy it at least but no no i know it, you it, it, it's a backlog it where he's so descriptive in his scene dis- descriptions You kind of have to have like a really strong background in art. I just don't think the average person is going to get a lot from this piece. Um, So yeah, I am a backlogging on that one. Okay. Well, all right, guys. How long did we go on for? I don't know because my video cut out in the middle of it. So this is going to be a who knows how long this went on for. Thank you for checking out the Codex (laughs) Canteen. Peace. (laughs) Well, I was just joking. I wasn't going to cut out that soon. You're really going to cut out that soon? What? Don't you want no, to yeah, like, I'm still here. Don't you want to wrap something up? Or I mean, shouldn't, what shouldn't am I wrapping? Like, I don't know. Shouldn't you like future videos or something? And I, I don't know. Like, you're the please subscribe. Go yeah, to our do, Instagram do something like that. Yeah, something like that. Do do that. Thing. Go to our go to our MySpace and uh, please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification so you get those videos every Monday and Thursday, and sometimes on Wednesday. Go to our Patreon. Go to our Patreon. We don't have and, a Patreon. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, buy 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 cups and T-shirts with Codan- Codex yeah. Cantina logo and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Team Una or Team Crypto? <laughs> uh, make your make your choice now. I don't know which one you're on. Yeah, there'll be a there'll be a thing card up in the corner. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's another what marketing they say? thing? What's another marketing thing? Don't they? Um... Uh, I don't remember anymore. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> hide your wives. I don't. Know. Hide your, hide your wives. Hide your children. <laughs> All right. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wipe your feet off. (laughs) Blow your nose. I don't know. (laughs) End this video. End this video. Peace out. Later.